I've been doing lots of repairs on the BMW trying to get it roadworthy. The repairs are complete, or at least mostly complete. So now we can move on to the next phase of the project. This is where the cool stuff starts to happen, but I'm getting ahead of myself. In the last video, I replaced the control arm in the right front suspension. Afterward, I noticed the right front wheel was at an odd angle. The wheel had too much toe out. Adjusting the toe is pretty easy, so I decided to do that. I stretched out a piece of string alongside the car and used it to take measurements. Then I adjusted the tie rod on the right side until the toe was where I wanted it. I decided to use a sixteenth inch of total toe in. Okay, so back to the cool stuff. Today I'm taking the BMW to the drag strip. I want to see how fast, or rather, how slow, the car is in stock trim. Then I can use that as a baseline to compare against as I upgrade the car. They also have a weight scale at the track so I can weigh the car. I want the weight to be similar to stock, so I had to throw some things in the trunk. For example, the clutch fan, the smog pump, the windshield washer bottle, and a spare tire. Those things have all been deleted, but I want to know how much the car weighed before I deleted them. Here's a look inside the cabin. This is probably the last time you'll see the interior trim. It's all going to be stripped out. It takes about an hour to drive to the racetrack. They open at 6 p.m., and since daylight saving time just ended a couple days ago, that means it'll be dark by the time I get there. You can actually see it getting dark in the time-lapse footage. Hopefully the cameras won't have too much trouble with the low light. And here we are at Orlando Speed World. After getting signed in, I went to the weight scale. I tried to take a photo of the readout, but the camera wasn't having it. Not sure what happened there. But the car weighs 3,442 pounds with a quarter tank of gas and me sitting in the driver's seat. I weigh about 155 pounds, so the car weighs 3,287 pounds. After that, I got in line for my first run. I showed up a little bit late, so I had to wait for everyone else to finish their first run. While I was waiting, I checked out some of the other cars and had a chat with the drivers. There were a lot of nice cars and some crazy stuff, too. Okay, it's go time. This is my first time racing this car, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm also not used to driving an automatic transmission. Yeah, here we go with the excuses. <laughs> Oops, I overshot the staging area. Let's back up and try again. feels pretty sketchy at high speed. The front end starts to float around. The struts are completely worn out, so that might have something to do with it. Here's the time slip. I'm car number 85. 15.7 at 88 miles an hour. It can only get better from there. Now we get to play hurry up and wait again. I got back in queue and waited for the next run. The really fast cars get to go first, then the motorcycles, then the regular cars. So I'll be waiting for a while. In the meantime, let's watch some racing.
Triple engine jet tracks will be on property this weekend. This is our festival night of fire this Saturday. We're giving you all the information out as the day goes through. Organized action. Got out our new V8 system we just uh, upgraded to. Hopefully everybody can hear me out there. Hey look, another BMW. Let's see how fast he goes. Too much wheel spin. Now we have to take a break for track prep. Unfortunately, I made a newbie cameraman mistake. Where I was standing, I couldn't get the cars and the tree in frame at the same time. So I focused on the cars. Okay, back to the action. That's a nice looking third gen Camaro. That's a sweet looking first gen Camaro. Neon on neon action. My money's on the red one.
gray Honda is rowdy. Watch him shoot flames. Dragster was doing his burnout. This ought to be interesting. like he spun the tires and shut it down. And more track prep.
Okay, it's time for me to get back in my car and make another run. I couldn't see the staging area from inside the car, so this time I slowly crept up on it. Once again, the car felt sketchy at high speed. It made me a little nervous. I'll have to address that before I go racing again. And here's the time slip, just a tiny bit faster than the first one. In any case, I was able to drive to the track, do some racing, and drive back home. The engine didn't blow up, the transmission didn't blow up, and I didn't break anything. Plus I got some important data, so I'm calling it a win. Alright, I need to go home and get some sleep. See you next time.